What's going on folks? Welcome back to another Radom tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at how to create your own custom door hashes or basically how to lock your own custom doors that you've placed on yourself whether that be a Ymap um, or a Y-type if you're making your own MLO should be the same way. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. This one as a house I've placed down myself, uh, fully furnished it and all that stuff, placed down the door right here. And um, if you watched my last video, you can um, you can see how you can make your doors openable. And in this video we are going to look at how to create a door hash for it so you can lock it with your door lock script or your housing script. Okay, so the first step is to find your Y map. Um, in my case, this has been a few months ago, so I'm not sure how it's called anymore, so I'm just going to click on one object, um, press tab on it in Spooner, um, copy uh, part of the chords out of it, and then I'm going to go into my, my maps, my maps folder. I'm just going to drag the whole thing into Visual Studio Code. Go into search, search for the code, chords, doesn't find anything. Okay, now it found it. Um, this is a great tip, so you can just basically search through all your files in Visual Studio Code. And there we go, Armor Midhouse with Barn is basically what it is. Okay, I already did it. We're going to delete that again. So this is how your Ymap is going to look like, okay? This is the door we're just looking at. This one right here. Um, and now I have a small readme for you. Alright, so I have to thank Spoonie, aka Elite Fighter, for the information on this one. Couldn't have been possible without him, okay. So what we are going to do is step one is find artificial ambient occlusion and right under it we're going to uh, paste this one extension to extensions. Um, so as you can see this is an example right under artificial ambient occlusion. Let's go ahead and find that in our Y map. It's right here. We're just going to paste this part right here. <coughs> Alright, our door is called pdoor10x, so we're going to put that into here and into here where it says name. And right here where it says id, name for door hash, we're just going to put whatever we want. So we could just put test in here. I'm gonna call it armor mid front door, because the Ymap is called armor mid, whatever. So this is going to be our id. Okay. So step number two is basically making a hash out of it. So we're going to go to rdr 2 mods hasher, this page right here. We're going to input armor mid front door. So basically the ID we just we just chose. Click on hash, and then we need this deci decimal number right there. Okay. So next up we're going to go into our door hashes lure of our door lock or housing uh, script. I'm going to paste uh, this one out. This is the example. Door hash is lure, there we go. This is basically the example, just so we can look at it. We make a new line, copy one of the existing lines. Okay, so the first two numbers are going to be our decimal hash. So this one right here. One, two. The third number is going to be the model hash of the door. Um, to find that one out, there's pages like um, like Moosh. So we can just go ahead and do P door. My door is called pdoor10x, I already looked for it, it's not in here. 
so there's a better way to do it. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and, and do the other stuff first. So this one we're going to do in a second. Um, the door name as a string is right here. P door ten x. Um, okay, right here. P door ten x, and then we need the uh, chords of the door. This w is important. We're going to take the chords with Spooner because it's more accurate. So just go ahead. On uh, lock on the door with Spooner, press tab and copy the chords by clicking here. Alrighty. Back into our door hashes, paste in the chords. And last step, uh, last thing is that we need our model hash. So since I couldn't find the model hash on Moosh or on any other page, uh, we're going to do it the same way we're going to do it with XMLs. Press um, J. Save load deletitions, take that one, close and basically right click on our door so it's deleted. Uh, export as XML and there we go. This is our door model hash. So we're going to paste that in there. We can delete our example. This one is now basically our first um, Custom door hash, whatever. All right. <clears throat> now, since for one, our door is gone, we would need to relock. And number two, um, our YMAP needs to reload with the extension. For that, we will need a server restart. So, um, yeah, see you in a second. Alrighty, your boy is back, server has been restarted, um, so now we have a door hash on this door and you can either go ahead and basically I think write the same thing, this right here, into your config of your door locks, depending on what door lock script you use, I use a housing script where I can just go ahead and do it in game, so I'm going to go ahead and do create house. There we go. Uh, da, da, da. Oops. Give it a second. There we go. Uh, the door is locked. This wouldn't have been working if I hadn't created the door hash beforehand. Alright, so let's buy the house. We should be able to unlock it with. Yeah, it's old. Bada boom, bada boom. Now in my case I would have to do the same thing with the uh, back door, because otherwise you can go in from the back door. But as you can see, the door is completely locked. Alrighty guys, um, hope this helped. If there's any questions, you know where to ask me. Yeah, take care, have fun, bye bye.